girls so today i'm going to be doing another video this is going to be my current favorites video since i didn't do a july video and i have some favorites i want to share with you guys i thought i'll just do a current favorites video and um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something i forgot anyways um oh yeah well i'm in my bathroom again um let me know if you guys like this setup better than the one in my room because i used to make videos in my restroom but i don't know i just stopped um so let me know if you guys like that so i'm gonna go straight into my favorites and a trend i've been loving and i can't get over is the um ice cream and donut trend you know i do have a donut shirt but i'm pretty sure my little sister took it she likes to take that shirt um so i'm about to hunt her down when she gets here um but yeah and then i am obsessed with ice cream too um so i have this one which i get compliments all the time whenever i wear this i love it it is just so cute and fun um I got this from H&M and it was about like $11, which isn't bad. And then I have another ice cream shirt that I'm wearing right now. Oh my gosh, let's see if I can. Looks like that. Um, there's more ice creams than that. It's like ice cream and then ice cream sundaes and stuff. It's just so cute. I got this for $5 at JCPenney. And yes, I'm aware that my bra is showing my pinkness in here but don't worry i'm not gonna wear that out in public i only wear it sleeping time i'm gonna change into this other ice cream shirt after i'm done which i don't know why i wore that why i didn't put that on before this video anyways now to the makeup i do have a few items the first item i'm going to be talking about which was in my recent haul is my mini micro my micro mini beauty blenders and I really really like these I would say that these were hard to get used to because my fingers are too big for this a little sponge and it was kind of hard to blend at first but it does blend more than the beauty blender when it comes to smaller areas and it's just perfect for those smaller areas and I've been loving this for my under eye concealer so yeah Okay, yeah, I'm still kind of getting sick. Um, I've been loving this nail polish. It's on my hands now, but I'm not going to show you my hands because they're pretty nasty. It is the China Glaze um, nail polish fade into hue. I think this is a perfect summer color, and I loved how I got this on clearance at Ulta for $1.97. Yeah, so... I'm mean, really loving that. Then the next thing, um, which this item, it took me a long time to see if I actually really like this item. Um, it is the real benefit gel remover. So this is pricey and I do like it, but the only thing is I'm not going to repurchase this because of the how much it is and I feel like this goes you need to use a lot of product to get all your makeup off and it just goes by like that even though I still have a little more left because I haven't been using it recently um I just don't like using as much product as I use but I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna get all my makeup off so um yeah, it's cute and everything. It works well. It's just I'd rather use cheaper um, makeup wipes and stuff. I do like the formula, but I do like the wipes better. But this was a good thing to try out. But I'm not going to be repurchasing this. Okay. Now I have um, two concealers. The first one is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been really, really loving this concealer. I am in medium one custard. Um, I've been using it ever since I got it. I love it for um, blemishes and my dark spots and all that stuff. And then um, I have, of course, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And, of course, I've been using it as a highlighter as well, like everyone else. And I love it. 
I love it, love it, love it. And I have a mini sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that I've been loving as well. I just love it. I wear it every day for work. Then, I only have two face products. And I've been going for my Milani baked blushes like a lot these past few weeks I only have two um what's the other one I forgot what the other one's called Bellissimo bronze something like that I think that's how you pronounce it but I've been also wearing this like non-stop when I wear lighter foundations it's the Milani baked blush these are just really perfect when you want to get color in your life of course everyone needs color and this is in Barry Amour I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Today's the only day I'm not wearing any of my Milani blushes, but these are a must have in your drugstore collection. The Milani baked blushes are amazing, great quality blushes, so, and they're affordable, so I feel like I need to go. With I've been, I've been hunting down the Milani Bella Eyes gel eyeliner. Uh, Eyeshadows, oh my gosh, I cannot find them anywhere. And I want them so bad because the colors look so gorgeous and I'm all about eyeshadow. But yeah, um, I feel like I need to get another Milani blush. I've been hearing Luminoso, I think that's how it is. Everyone's like in love with that. Okay, so the last item I have is in this e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. I've had this for a long time. I've had this since I started my makeup collection. And um, recently I was watching a YouTube video, I forgot her name, um, but she's all about cruelty-free makeup. Um, I think her name is like, I Love You Morgan or something, um, but I forgot. Um, and she was showing some, uh, I don't know if it was her favorites or just about cruelty-free products. And she was showing how she loved this highlighter. Um, in this golden bronzer and I always used to use this when I first started using makeup but if I'm not wearing that Maybelline Age Rewind um, highlighter concealer I am wearing this because this I forgot how pigmented this is let me swatch and it gives you a nice glow see look at that I love it so um, if you guys have this the highlighter is amazing in that palette so anyways, um, I hope you girls enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>